CJ, welcome to Hibernian. How happy are you to be here? Um, obviously, I'm, I'm thrilled to get going. Obviously, great club, um, fantastic supporters, fa- uh, fantastic fans, historic place. Yeah, I'm just buzzing to get started and to get some games. You had a lot of options um, to think about. Yeah. Why did you choose Hibs? Just because, as I said, like the, it's such a passionate city about football, great fans, great like heritage in football, and then just a chance to play some more men's games. The gaffer obviously spoke to me and said, like, yeah, I want you to be a big part of the plans to come in and play, to like learn your trade more. He said it would be different because the, obviously the Scottish League's a bit different to what it is in England and stuff, but I'm ready for the challenge and to, to take the learnings out of it. Does that excite you, playing in the Scottish game? Obviously, everyone knows that it's more physical, it's very passionate, yeah. but I'm sure that suits your game. Yeah, no, for sure. Obviously, it'll be a bit different, but like I'm ready for the challenge. I think I can step up and, and make an impact here and, and do well here and take the learnings and enjoy it, for sure. How important is regular game time for you? No, obviously, at this at this stage, my age now, uh, I feel ready that I can come into the men's game and play like uh, week in, week out and be ready and really help a team. So... I'm, I'm ready and um, yeah, I'll show everyone what, what I've got. Yeah, and obviously you're, you're a versatile player, centre-half by trade, but you can also play at, at right-back yeah. and in the number six role. Yeah. Which of those do you prefer and do you think it's a benefit being so so versatile? Yeah, first of all, yeah, I think it is because obviously there's only 11 players that can, can start every game and if you can play in like two, three positions to a, to a good level, that's obviously a bonus and for getting in like squads and stuff, if a, if a manager knows he's got a player that can play in multiple positions, he's he's going to be happy with that. But as you, uh, for, to your question, I'd probably say that growing up I played centre-half a lot and that's the one I'm most comfortable in, but wherever the team needs me to play and, and do a job there, I'm, 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 I'm happy and able to do all three, I feel like. Yeah, for fans that haven't seen you play before, yeah. what would you say are your best attributes? I uh, probably just say uh, like my technical ability and like calmness and possession, uh, and then just just defensively. Like I think I'm quite defensively aware and read spaces really well and and stuff like that. So yeah, but obviously like so all, all well and good me saying it. I just have to show the fans now. Yeah, like, absolutely. I'm, I'm ready to. Um, and obviously you met your teammates um, today. Yeah. Will Fish, obviously you know before from yeah. from the England setup. Yeah. But how was how was all of that? No, obviously it, it was good to see Will. Um, growing up at. I was at City and he was at United, so we had some uh, some rivalries over the years, which was good. But obviously, he's a good guy, and um, I'm sure I'll get along here with him as well as the other lads. As they seem good, and I'm welcoming me nicely this morning. Yeah, you mentioned Man City just there. Obviously, yeah. you were there for a very long period of time. Yeah. How did that help you and turn you into the player you are today? I mean, it, it pretty much moulded me. I was there since I was like five years old to literally last year. So. Um, yeah, I'm very thankful for that club and I learned a lot there um, and I probably wouldn't be the player I am today about them, so I'm grateful, but obviously I'm here now and I'm ready to give my all for this club. Yeah, and obviously you played for Man City as well uh, in the Champions League yeah. and the Premier League, just to name two, obviously, of the competitions with the likes of, of Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. What what was that experience like for you? And it probably gave you a taste of where you want to get to. Yeah, it's just like, obviously, that's the pinnacle and, and what every, everyone grows up wanting to do is like play with the best players, playing the best team. So it really opened my eyes and it made me more hungry to... Obviously, I had a sniff there. I had a, f- a few games there in the first team, which was great, but... Now the goal is to just like get back to the top level, like no matter no matter what, and just have to use the steps now, and hopefully I'll be back there in one day. Yeah, and obviously at Burnley you've had a, a bit of game time yeah. as well. What was it like learning under Vincent Company? Obviously when you were at Man City, when he yeah. was at Man City, you'd have seen a lot of him, and then obviously learning under him as a coach too. Yeah, no, he's a, I'm very very grateful for. For everything he's done for me, the um, I've learned so much this season, just from a defensive uh, point of view, and also in possession on the ball for everything. Really, he's been he's been great. He's helped me with a lot of things, and obviously he was at the top of the game, and he's one of the best. I grew up watching him, and just to be able to be in and around him every day it helped me a lot. And yeah, yeah, and you spoke a lot about game time and wanting to play. Obviously, yeah. that could start tomorrow yeah. against Ross County just how yeah. much are you looking forward to that obviously I'm looking forward to it I only got in today um, did the, the light training session today so I spoke to the manager I'm not sure if I'll if I'll start tomorrow but obviously I'll be ready to come on from the bench I'll be ready to if someone wakes up and they're ill and I have to start I'll be ready of course and just to, to get out there in front of the fans and stuff and show the teammates like what I'm here to do fantastic CJ welcome to Hibs thank you